Pleasure now to be joined by Mike Kerrig of the HSU Lumberjacks Senior on this very young Lumberjack team. Uh, Mike, let's start with this year's team. Expectations are, are high, amazing for a 17-point loss. Uh, expectations even higher after the UCLA game, but uh, Coach Wood, very quick to point out, you guys haven't won anything yet. Oh, that's true. You know, uh, we came into the season, I think we were ranked number eight and number 20 in a couple other polls, but uh, you know, we hold, we kind of embrace that, uh, that ranking and embrace kind of the high expectations because I know this is my fourth year here, so we're kind of used to always having a bullseye on our back and we're uh, excited to take the challenge. Now, were you on the 06 team that uh, finished first in the West? I was, and uh, we actually held regionals here and that was some experience. So that was the last time, of course, the Lumberjacks hosted regionals and played UCLA. So a lot of people would like to make the comparisons. How would you compare those teams? Um, you know, it's tough because we obviously have only played one game so far against UCLA, UCLA. But, you know, I'd say it's pretty close in comparison, talent-wise and depth-wise. Um, the only difference is they had there was a lot more older leadership. Um, we have a lot of young guys that are stepping up this year. We got Kyle Baxter, Elliott, uh, Ernie's a junior. We got a couple other freshmen that are. Uh, Derek, I think he's a freshman, and uh, we got a couple sophomores. So, you know, I'd say the only difference between that is that we, we're a little bit younger than that team, but we're just as talented, and hopefully we can bring a West Region uh, host again. Oh, well, yeah, we'd like to see that here in the gym. <laughs> we know the CC2A championships are going to be here regardless of what happens. Uh, are you and Zach Tiedemann the only seniors on the team this year? Uh, it's me, uh, Zach. And Colt. Right. Colt and Kevin. Oh, so I'm all wrong. There's all sorts of seniors littered with this team. Nevertheless, what are the real leadership roles for those guys? I mean, I know you're you like talking. You don't mind that. Yeah. You're a vocal guy. Zach Tiedemann, uh, he strikes me as one of those guys. He leads by example, maybe not a rah rah guy. Oh yeah, he's our silent leader. You know, he doesn't have to say anything. He steps on the court, brings it, whatever it's practice, walk through, shoot around. You know, he's he's our leader. He's our go-to guy. Uh, I think past year kind of a explain that when we want the ball in his hands almost yeah. all the time towards the end of the game and you know he doesn't have to say much we got different roles for different guys you know i'm obviously one of the vo one of the more vocal guys on the team but zach's definitely our silent leader all right uh, with that said you know such a young team maybe those guys don't feel the same urgency that you and zach and kevin and colt do feel how do you express to them these opportunities are rare when you get a chance to to be one of those teams in the west that are second to none and they need to take advantage of this opportunity because it may not come again yeah you know it's it's weird because uh when i was younger uh when i was a sophomore i think it was uh we had cy grayson will and uh, who am I leaving out here? Cy Grace and Devin Peel, you know. They're littered with seniors. Yeah, and they, they, they would always express to us, like, this is their last shot, you know. And, you know, I knew what they were saying, but I never really understood what they were saying. And now that I'm a senior, I kind of get it from a different perspective. And, you know, I'm always embedding in the younger players, you know, this is it. This is our last chance. You know, this is a great chance. We got Zach Tiedemann playing with Brian Morris for the, the one and only year that we have. So let's take advantage of it. And, you know, we're always trying to just implement that in with uh, our younger guys. Of course, I'm going to ask you about you in a minute, but Brian Morris, we've heard a lot about him, yeah. and we've seen him once now, and not a lot of us may have heard of him, some of us who got to go to UCLA. You've been seeing him for a while now. He looks pretty special. Yeah, he's a, he's a great player. He's kind of an anomaly. You know, I don't know how he landed in our laps, but he did. <laughs> but he's a 6'9", about 250, 260, just big man, just great post presence, great fundamentals. And he's got that rebounding backside. Oh, yeah, I don't know the best way to put it, but he's got <laughs> one of those. Yeah, he does. He's got a he's got a he's got a big backside. He does, but that's perfect for this game, you know, and that's something that we uh, kind of missed last year a little bit. I mean, we had a uh, Jameson and Owen who were big for us and huge and they were great role players, but now we have a uh, a real threat in the post when we throw it in there. Mike, what's, what's your role with this team this year? You know, a guy coming off the bench and, uh, you know, in a crucial role. You're going to be bringing the ball up the court. We saw you knock down some big shots against uh, UCLA, but X's and O's wise, how do you see yourself fitting in with the squad? Uh, you know, I, I'd say I'm kind of a leader on the court a little bit. Just, and, uh, you know, I'm not, they're not asking me to score 20 points a game. I, obviously, I would like to, but who wouldn't <laughs> but you know I, I like kind of my role uh, I come in off the bench I'm steady Eddie you know I run the offense I hit the open jumper and you know I just I'm my main goal is to win and whatever I can do to help this team do it I'm well, you, I get the impression from, from talking to coach Wood and coach Kinder and obviously just watching the games the better you play you know the better that the rest of the team is gonna be yeah yeah well uh, I'm kind of the backup point guard backup shooting guard you know type that combo guard but when I come in I'm kind of like I like to facilitate. I've been here for four years, so obviously I know the offense and whatever I can do to help the other teams get good shots. If we can get a good, if I can get a good shot, you know, I'll take it. 
but otherwise I'm just looking for a good opportunity for our offense. What has your experience been like for four years here, playing for Coach Wood, Coach Ken? I know there was even a time you'd considered leaving the program. Obviously, you've grown a lot uh, yeah. in your time here at Humble State. What would you say about uh, your, your four years thus far? Uh, I'd say, you know, great experience overall. You know, obviously I had a little bit up and down, you know, a little disagreement where I, where I am in the position. And, you know, I, I did think about transferring, but luckily came to my senses, matured a little bit those past two months when I was thinking about leaving. And, you know, I'm glad I'm here. Yeah, well, what was that decision like? Obviously, you know, you thought about, you know, I want to be a star somewhere else. Yeah. I, I came here in a starting role, and that hasn't happened. Why did you decide to stay at Humboldt State? I mean, look at this place. <laughs> and You're it, not getting this at Santa Claus? Uh, no, <laughs> and, and, and we fill this place. You know, I'd say, I'd say a lot of factors went into the decision, uh, one of it being the community support up here. You know, you don't get Division II programs like this on the West Coast at all. And, you know, I had... One thing that uh, I did want to be, you know, have a bigger role, but, you know, I'd rather be a, a role player on a winning team and a great championship team than a star on a, on a bad team. Well, obviously, your, your role is huge here, and, uh, you know, we definitely learned that just because uh, you may not score the most points. I mean, you look at Zach Tiedemann down at UCLA, his number line didn't look good. There's no doubt about, you know, who, who's the man on that team. Off the basketball court, what does the future hold for the East Bay product, Mike Herrick? Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to get my degree here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> In, uh, in communications. Actually. How's that working out? Oh, it's, it sounds pretty good to me. Oh, it's, it's working well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of experience with kind of this type of situations. But uh, I'm actually working on my research paper right now. So that's about a 35-page, 40-page research that paper. That sound like fun. No, what? once I get done with that, though, it's smooth sailing, and I'll have a – I'll coast through my second semester. Oh, well, that's <laughs> nice to know. And then, of course, the, uh, the future after uh, basketball and after you uh, get your degree? Uh, I will probably go back to the Bay Area, Danville, where I'm from and uh, work for my dad, maybe, in real estate. But we'll see how that goes. All right. Hey, well, Mike, thank you so much for joining us. And Mike will join us this year All on right. Big Red Country uh, Weekly Mornings. You can uh, catch him on the airwaves. I'm J.B. Mathers, back with more right after this. Three wides to the right side, one to the left. What does greatness taste like? Steps up, heaves the ball. Step up and order a Miller Lite aluminum pint with a wide opening to deliver that true Pilsner taste. Down into the end zone. It's going to be a tip ball. He got it! Unbelievable! And it's going to be a touchdown! This is unbelievable! There's light beer, and then there's triple hops brewed Miller Lite. Taste greatness. We thought last week was unbelievable. There are plenty of ways to find us these days, but good old-fashioned word of mouth from satisfied members is our favorite. Coast Central Credit Union, your real local lender and financing choice since 1950. Do you like authentic New York style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcata at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. Time now for our Big Pete's Trivia. If you know the answer to the question, send your answer to jb at jbmathers.com. Let's get to the question. Tom Wood has been the coach here at Humboldt State for the men's basketball team since 1981. Who was the coach before TW Tom Wood? The winner will get free pizza courtesy of Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata and Eureka. I'm JB Mathers. Send your questions to me at jbmathers.com.